Welcome to the Sound Eklund Academy of Veterinary Imaging. I'm Dr. Gregory Lissandro, boarded in veterinary emergency and critical care, and one of the pioneers in veterinary FAST exams, including the abdominal fluid scoring system, the thoracic or TFAST exam, and the vet blue lung ultrasound scan. Today I'm going to introduce you to the AFAST exam. The acronym FAST stands for Focused Assessment with Sonography for Trauma. This abbreviated ultrasound exam has been used by non-radiologist physicians since the 1990s. The objective, which is readily teachable to non-radiologists, is to recognize ultrasonographically free fluid in the abdominal cavity. Free fluid in adult animals is always abnormal and in trauma reflects injury, whereas in non-trauma it represents other potentially life-threatening conditions. In human medicine, FAST is standard of care for all blunt trauma cases, and more recently in non-trauma patients with undifferentiated hypotension. In other words, the collapsed or weak human patient without any obvious cause found on physical examination or on initial traditional screening tests. In 2004, Boyson and colleagues performed a landmark translational study by applying the FAST ultrasound exam to 100 dogs that were hit by cars. They validated the FAST scan and showed that non-radiologist veterinarians could master the technique. Again, the objective being the recognition of free fluid. In 2005, Lissandro and colleagues began to study FAST in dogs to better clarify the clinical relevance of a positive FAST exam by developing a fluid scoring system that they published in 2009. The fluid scoring system was helpful in semi-quantitating the degree of intra-abdominal bleeding in dogs and could be used as a predictor for the need for blood transfusion by categorizing dogs based on their fluid score into small and big bleeders. They also performed four-hour serial exams, now standard of care in human trauma patients, in all hospitalized dogs. These serial exams were helpful for screening for continued bleeding as well as the resolution of bleeding and for the integrity of the urinary bladder and the gallbladder. Veterinary terminology is of utmost importance to avoid the onslaught of confusing acronyms that have been developed in human medicine. Thus, it has been proposed to use the triple T for trauma, triage, and tracking so FAST may be applied to both trauma and non-trauma subsets of patients. It also has been proposed and recently published to use AFAST to designate abdominal FAST scans, TFAST for thoracic FAST scans, and VetBlue for lung ultrasound scans. By using this type of terminology, communication among veterinarians is precise and gives clarity to the exact exam being performed. The initial FAST exam performed by Boyson and colleagues focused on external sites by naming the four-point scan. The initial FAST exam on dogs had the four-point scan named by external sites. The AFAST exam, on the other hand, has named the four sites by the target organs that are being viewed. The original FAST exam, named by the external sites, has been changed to AFAST, designating the scan as being abdominal FAST. The target organ approach is as follows. The diaphragmatic hepatic site, or the DH view, the splenorenal site, or the SR view, the systocolic site, or the CC view, or the little fib, which we'll get to when we look at that site ultrasonographically, and the hepatorenal site, nicknamed the HR view which is called the big lie since neither one of those target organs is specifically searched out. With the AFAST study, we save time. First of all, patients are not shaved. That saves time and also preserves the cosmetic appearance of the veterinary patient. The preferred positioning is right lateral recumbency, and all images in the Lysandro studies were unshaven.